Welcome to Melbourne Blocks. We will discuss today double decidual sign. How this double decidual sign is looking on ultrasound and actually what this DDS that is the double decidual sign is we will discuss that. So first of all this DDS the complicated fancy definition that the double decidual sign is the makeup of decidua parietalis that is the lining of the uterine cavity and decidua parietalis that is the lining gestation uh, from the gestational sac wherever two adheres is the decidua basalis and is the site of the future placental formation this is the fancy definition over there but our goal today is that we will try to make it simple what actually this DDS is. This is a decidua. We are having actually two deciduas. Here is the gestational sac. From this gestational sac, we will be having one decidua, and from this endometrial lining, we will be having another decidua. One which is arising from the uterine cavity will be decidua parietalis. And one which is arising from the gestational sac will be decidua capsularis. So this is the easy way to understand the double decidual sign. What is that? But why should I know about this? This is very important. Why should know I know about the double decidual sign? Let it be there. Okay. Now, before that, between these two deciduous i am having a cavity this is actually a uterine cavity unobliterated uterine cavity so the point is it is because of the unobliterated cavity that i am seeing two distinct deciduous one coming from the endometrial cavity and one emerging from the gestational sac i am repeating it is because of the unobliterated uterine cavity that I will be able to see two distinct deciduals. Now, putting the table round, can you say that if I will be able to see this unobliterated uterine cavity, automatically I am dealing with two deciduals? Try to understand this very basic and important thing that is unobliterated uterine cavity. So, Whenever I see this unobliterated uterine cavity, now see, this is the unobliterated uterine cavity over here. Now I see the unobliterated uterine cavity, it means that, it automatically means that I am dealing with two deciduals. Double decidual sign has to be positive if I am seeing two distinct, uh, this, uh, I, if I am seeing an unobliterated uterine cavity. So the point is, if you see this unobliterated uterine cavity, automatically DDS is positive. So C to the unobliterated uterine cavity. If your unobliterated uterine cavity is seen, it means that DDS has to be positive. That is point number one. Point number second is that now this is an unobliterated uterine cavity. Now as pregnancy will advance, this is the small gestational sac over here. As pregnancy will advance, this sac will occupy more of the cavity. What will happen to this unobliterated uterine cavity? Will it decrease, increase or remain same? It has to decrease and it will decrease. So the point is, as pregnancy is advancing, this unobliterated uterine cavity will decrease, decrease and decrease in size. And at some point of time, it will be very, very, very small like this. Now people may confuse here. Is it a double decidual? Is it, is it this unobliterated uterine cavity or or a hematoma detachment that thing we have to differentiate at that time but today we have learned that if we see this left behind small unobliterated uterine cavity don't always think on lines of a detachment that is point number two 
point number third is that why should I know about this unobliterated uterine cavity? The point is, if we are having an unobliterated uterine cavity, ectopic is ruled out. I mean, if there is a pseudo sac, in pseudo sac, there will be no unobliterated uterine cavity. So these are the important points. And this is the basic definition in a simple way, what this DDS actually is. So I hope that uh, you are getting benefited by these vlogs. To stay connected with us, you have to join our uh, Facebook page. And if you are watching this video via YouTube, make sure that you will subscribe. For more details of our courses, you can contact our helpline number or you can visit our website. Thank you very much.